Well, today we're going to do a video that's way off the beaten path for me, something I normally wouldn't even talk about on here. And I just want to give you guys a fair warning that if you are offended by foul language or cursing, just keep scrolling. Don't even, don't even bother. Because I, I normally don't even share this kind of content on a page. It's not something I promote. But regardless of how this individual said what she said, I think we need to all hear it and discuss it. And lastly, I'd like to say that this is in no way to harass this individual. I don't want to be rude because I'm not being rude. I'm just actually asking a question. Why are there so many, like, like developmentally disabled people? Like, not even, like, kids. There's, like, groups of, like, like developmentally disabled, like, physically. You know, more like developmentally disabled, disabled people in, like, groups walking around the mall. Okay, I'm sorry. Not to be rude. Not to be rude. She says that she starts spewing ableist offensive comments yeah not to be rude um what i'm picking up there is you're almost almost like you're asking well why do disabled people exist in public yeah yeah um i'm gonna answer a question for you the question where you said well why are there groups of disabled people in public spaces and i'm gonna tell you something you may not know this this is how you can tell you have no experience with anything outside of yourself i have a background in the medical arena surprise surprise and once upon a time, I worked with the geriatric population, and then I moved on to work with individuals who had autism. Now, I didn't go to the group homes. I actually did in-home, at-home calls, things like that. But uh, a lot of times, you'll see them out in public because if they're in a group home, you'll have DSP workers that will take them out to the mall to go shopping, to have fun, to experience everyday activities because they're humans too, and they have wants and needs. And they have value. Every human has value, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. We all do. And just because they're disabled doesn't mean they're any less of a human. And so you'll see a lot of disabled people that will be taken places to learn life skills, like shopping, paying with a debit card, picking their clothes out, everyday stuff. That's why you see that. No offense, I'm sorry. This is not a public space. Like, this mall is already so depressing as is. And then you have to like, then I have to like see like tragedy. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, okay, I know you're gonna be like, Alex, no. So now a mall is not a public space. Okay, I'll take note of that. That's an interesting, interesting take. Okay, so what I'm hearing is you long for the good old days when disabled people were locked up in institutions from the public, never to be seen or heard again from, right? Is that, is that what you're saying? Because it sure does sound like that. Disabled people can't exist in the same public space as you because it, makes you uncomfortable. Hmm. All I'm hearing here is I, 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 me, me, me. Self-centered, self-absorbed. No empathy. You know, I find a lot of your ableist comments offensive. Maybe you shouldn't be allowed to have an opinion. Maybe you shouldn't be allowed to speak in public or even go out in public. Like, you're rude or you're... you're, you're I, no, fuck you, okay? This is an actual... Like, and don't tell me, you fucking lying bitch, that you don't feel that too, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, what you just seen there was not normal behavior. I just want to make sure I kind of throw that out there. Uh, the, the switch and flip she just did there, not normal. And to answer your question, no, I don't feel that way. I'm pretty confident I could probably speak for a lot of other people that we don't feel that way because we have a soul. We have compassion for other people. And uh, by the way, your apology is not accepted. I don't want to like go somewhere and like, it's, like, it's, it's very sad, okay? It's very sad to me. Well, I have an idea for you. Maybe you shouldn't be allowed in public spaces. Maybe you and your rants make people uncomfortable and therefore you should stay home. Yeah, you shouldn't be allowed in public spaces. I really hope, and I really do, I really hope that you don't have somebody in your life that you love so much that they become disabled. I really hope that doesn't happen because you would be the worst thing to happen to them, not the disability. Yeah, your lack of compassion, your lack of understanding, lack of everything, really. And I kind of want to close this video up with this. Most of us, when we were children, we were always afraid of monsters, always convinced there was a boogeyman under the bed or what have you. And our parents, would they always say, oh, monsters don't exist, they don't exist. But I think that was a lie. And a lot of you, if you've ever seen Scooby-Doo, they always taught us one thing, and it was really deep. And it was the fact that the real monsters were always human. They were humans. The real monsters were humans.